Welcome back guys to another reaction video. Today we're going to be checking out something incredibly powerful and scary. Castle Bravo nuclear test suggested by Luke for buying the coffee. Thank you so much Luke for this. I've heard this was the biggest bomb ever detonated by the USA and it went way beyond what the scientists predicted. Without further ado, let's see how massive and powerful this explosion was. Okay. Work on high yield hydrogen bombs had progressed from Operation Ivy culminating in the spring of 1954 with Castle Bravo, 1954. the largest device ever detonated in atmospheric testing by the United States. Bravo was a hydrogen bomb using solid thermonuclear fuel, confirming the designs of Edward Teller and Stan Ullum, and paving the way to producing aircraft deliverable hydrogen bombs and more effective weapons. Huh. Looks so harmless. <clears throat> Wow. Jeez, look at those trees. Whoa, this was just a test. Oh my god, that looks like the end of the world, look at that mushroom cloud. Look at that. Significantly exceeding its expected yield by two and a half times, Castle Bravo, Jeez. with an explosive power of 15 megatons, stripped islands clean of vegetation Jesus and took Christ. the scientists by surprise. The huge explosion released large quantities of radioactive debris into the atmosphere. This resulted in the exposure and contamination of some servicemen, natives, and the crew of a Japanese fishing boat, which had gone unnoticed in the security zone around the blast. This incident pushed the dangers of fallout from nuclear weapons clearly into the public mind. A weapon of mass destruction. Honestly, this is terrifying. Oh my god. Jeez. This really shows the raw destructive powers humans are capable of. That was terrifying. I can't imagine how he must have felt being near this. Honestly, watching this was just intense. It was, and it was not just because of the size of the explosion, it's realizing that this was real. 
it, and it had such an effect on people's lives and environment. It's a reminder of why nuclear weapons are such serious issues even today. Watching this gave me such chills. And it's wild to think that just a few years ago, Donald Trump reportedly was asking if he could do something like this to Iran. I mean, it wasn't just talk. He actually asked advisors about it. It really makes you think, you know, Castle Bravo caused such a destruction, even though it was just a test. Just imagine using this on people. It would, it would be catastrophic. There would be nothing left. Actually, it would be beyond catastrophic. The fact that nuclear weapon is still a part of modern day discussion is just scary. This isn't just history. It's a warning. Before all these world leaders start making decisions, before, before, before they start threatening, with using things like this, they really need to. <laughs> they really need to watch how. They really need to see how these things really work, because I don't think any more anybody's hatred would be this severe, would be this much, to wipe an entire nation, to wipe innocent people, to wipe innocent people off the face of the earth, like this. This is even worse than Hiroshima. I've heard. This explosion just showed us the horrifying power of nuclear weapons and the fact that world leaders still flirt with this kind of discussion. It's beyond me. We really shouldn't take peace for granted. This is horrifying. I've got so much chills. Thank you for sharing this look. It is really needed in today's world, especially with everything that's going on. It's a, it's a good reminder. Thank you for sharing this again. Thanks guys for watching the video. What do you think about this, about what is going on, about all this talk about nuclear weapons being this? What, what are your takes on this? What are your takes on this, guys? I'd really like to hear your thoughts about them. If you did enjoy the video, give me a big fat thumbs up and consider hitting the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, stay safe, be kind. And bye.